One of the reasons why I'm looking into Rank Map is because as I'm trying to optimize my website for speed in the Ezoic Leap platform, which I would do a separate video for that, I saw that in the list of recommendations, it says 30% of domains in the Leap platform using the Yoast SEO plugin, which is what I'm currently using, performs significantly worse than the average site. And that prompted me to check out other alternatives, and that's when I stumbled upon Rank Map. Now, I can't say that I stumbled upon it, I knew this plugin since is beginning but I thought it was something new I'm not sure if it's stable so I thought I would just wait for a while and you know when you're comfortable using one plugin there is really no need for you to look for another even when there are better options out there you'll probably sit on it for a very long time until something snaps and you need to do something about it and that's what's happening to me right now so I relook into rank math and boy, it is such a money saver, let me tell you that. And I'm asking myself, why did I look into this much earlier? Let me give you a few examples. In the Yoast SEO Premium, the one that you pay for, not the free version, the extra features were the redirection tool, which is useful when you delete or change URL slug. They have a feature to suggest articles that are great for internal linking, and you can optimize your article for multiple keywords. So these are the features that will cost you $89 for one site. But in Rank Math, this is all for free for unlimited websites. And I've always been reserved to get the local SEO, the news SEO, and the WooCommerce SEO from Yoast because they are so expensive individually. And if you want to get them all, it is $199 per year. And this is just for one site. And in Rank Math, you get all these for free for unlimited websites. So no other competitors on the market are giving this amount of value for free and this is unmatched and I don't know why I'm still holding on to Yoast. Rank Math is basically the market disruptor and the longer Rank Math stays on the market, if Yoast continues on with the same path, I think Rank Math is going to overtake Yoast in market share. I'm pretty sure Yoast knows about this and I'm pretty sure they think, nah, it's not gonna happen and well, Let's see. So in this video, I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side comparison between Yoast and Rank Math, both the free version and the pro version, so you can decide whether or not switching from Yoast to Rank Math is a good decision. Let's go. Hey, this is Jack and if this is your first time on my channel, I share a lot of WordPress and online business related content. I have an ever growing list of WordPress tutorials, page speed optimization case studies, affiliate marketing content and many more. So if you're interested in these topics, then feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. And if you find this video helpful, I hope you can smash that thumbs up button so that someone else who needs this information will get it. Now let's get right into the comparison between Yoast and Rank Math. I like to do comparisons side by side on the same screen because it is easier for us to see the differences so let's go now let me copy the content of this article which is ranked first on google with the search term hem clothing brands and let me put it into the wordpress editor and we'll see how these two plugins work differently So here we are, as you can see in Rank Math, it is showing a poor score of 29 out of 100. And in Yoast SEO, you basically see that they have segregated the SEO from readability. And you see this mildly green face implying that this article is easy to read, so it's all good. The SEO score is non-existent because I haven't entered a focus keyword or key phrase. Now in Rank Math, the reason why I'm getting a poor score is because they have combined all the SEO audits with the readability audits. And the moment I add a focus keyword, in this case, it would be ham clothing brands. You will see it turn to a score of 81 immediately. And if I want to add another keyword such as men's ham clothing, you will see the keyword flag as orange instead of green because this article is not optimized for this keyword. And if you want to see how to optimize for this keyword to turn this green, you just need to click on it and all the suggestions will show. The maximum number of keywords I can add here is five. And if I try to add the sixth keyword, this is what will happen. It will not be taken into account. Now, this is great if you're trying to rank for multiple keywords on Google. It will give you a good indication of whether or not you will stand a good chance to rank for those other keywords. But it doesn't mean that you will rank though, it is just an indication. Now, in Yoast SEO, you can only add one focus keyword in the free version. To add five keywords, you need to upgrade to premium. So, Rank Math is much better in this aspect. 
Now, the next thing is in rank math, you don't really need to worry about the meta title and the meta description because those are added by the default settings and they are taken into account by the SEO score. However, in Yoast, if you want to turn that green smiley face on, you have to manually add text to the title and description. Now, honestly, no matter what you put into the meta description, Google will display whatever they think is relevant to their users. So I'm not sure what's the point of having us write a separate piece of description to please the Yoast SEO score. Next, a very useful tool for SEO is the internal linking suggestions. And with Yoast, you've got to get their premium plugin to have this feature. Whereas in Rank Math, all you need is to check this pillar content box and the link suggestions will appear right here. This is a completely blank site, so there is no content for Rank Math to suggest. But if I'm working on a site with lots of content, you will see those suggestions here. And take note, this is a free feature in Rank Math. Review your page in Facebook and Twitter, you need the premium for Yoast. But in Rank Math, again, this is free. Also, the link redirection is the premium feature in Yoast. But in Rank Math, all you need to do is just to toggle this on and it works just like Yoast Premium. So as you can see, everything you need to pay for in Yoast can be found in Rank Math for free. The Rank Math free version goes way beyond the Yoast free version. For example, if you use ACF, which is Advanced Custom Fields for Dynamic Content, if you don't know what dynamic content is, I'll leave a link in the description. Sometimes we use custom fields for post heading in design layouts, and if search engines cannot account for the heading text in the custom field, it will not be favorable for our site. So Rank Math took care of this in the free version where you have to get the premium version for Yoast. You can even connect your analytics to Rank Math. In this way, we don't need to install a separate plugin for that, such as Monster Insights. Plus, check this out. In Yoast, you have the local SEO where you need to pay $69 and you basically have these basic meta options. You can add the opening hours, the map of your office where you need to provide an API key. And in the free version of Rank Math, you have all these as well. In the local SEO tab, if you select the organization option and if you scroll down, you have the opening hours as well. And you can also add a Google Map for your local business. As for Yoast WooCommerce, where you have to pay $69, you can add this information, which I don't know what they are for, and you have the Yoast SEO rating whenever you create a new product. Now in the Rank Math free version, they have this for WooCommerce as well. If you toggle this on, and if you add a new product, the same thing will have the SEO score right here. Maybe the snippet is not as pretty as Yoast, but that's because I haven't added any content to the product. But I'm pretty sure the snippet you see on Yoast will be achievable in Rank Math because if you look at the schema, they have this WooCommerce product schema by default, which will draw whatever information you put into the product data here. So we have covered a lot of things that Rank Math can do for free, whereas you need to pay quite a sum of money to Yoast to get the same functionalities. Now let's talk about Rank Math Pro because there is just one feature that is so important to me. And before I knew Rank Math's functionalities, I needed to purchase a separate plugin for this. And that is having multiple schema data for an article. Because sometimes an article is more than just an article. For example, if you're writing a product review, you will want Google to display your rating on their search results so you need another set of schema data to achieve that and in rank math you have lots of different pre-built schema data to choose from and you can even customize it this is the list of free and pro schema data in rank math against yoast now in the free version of rank math you can only have one schema data per article but in the pro version you can have multiple so this is huge to me now i don't need to renew that plugin called snip structured data that will cost me 59 dollars it saves me money again. Video SEO from Yoast that costs $69. In Rank Math Pro, you have these features as well, where Rank Math will auto detect a video on your post and draw out all the structured data for the video. Now, Rank Math only costs $59 per year, and you can use it on unlimited number of websites, unlike Yoast where you can only use those plugins on one website. Plus, with this $59 I pay for Rank Math, I save a ton of money for the features I can get from Yoast and other SEO plugins. So remember why I said Rank Math is a money saver, this is why. If you want to check Rank Math out, which I highly recommend you do so, I've left a link in the description for you. You can go to the page and check out all the awesome features it provides that others don't, and you will know how valuable Rank Math is.
You can track the rank of your articles for certain keywords. You can integrate with Google Trends. So you will have data as to the focus topics you are targeting. You have the news SEO, which is also available in Yoast for $69. If your local business has more than one location, you'll need the pro version of Rank Math and you will literally get tons of features from this plugin. So you should definitely check it out. And what I love the most is you can get one license and use it across all your websites. So what do you think? For me, I'm literally blown away by the value I can get with this SEO plugin. Even if you don't get the pro version of Rank Math, you can already do more than Yoast Premium. I'm really asking myself, why didn't I switch to Rank Math much earlier? Anyway, I forgot to mention one very distinct feature that entices me a lot. If you've been following my channel, you know that I'm a site speed junkie. So let's just take a look at this. Lines of codes, which means lightweightness of the plugin, it is one of the least. As for the photo size, it is the smallest. And as for page speed, it says here that it is the fastest. And you know, I like to test things out. So I may create a separate video to test out if the data given here is accurate. But for now, I will just take it as it is. So this is really a no brainer. Everything checks out for me. Rank math is like giving me an offer I can't refuse, like literally. Anyway, I hope I can get a thumbs up from you. And I really hope that you will give rank math a try. It doesn't matter if it is the free version or the pro version, either one, I think it is the best in the market right now. I'll do a separate tutorial to show you how to set things up with Rank Math, so do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you won't miss that video. All the best to you, take care, and stay safe.